Are we filming now? Okay. Um, I just thought I'd show you how to actually roll out gnocchi. Um, this recipe, this is beetroot gnocchi, which um, I'm really looking forward to trying because I'm not a huge potato fan, which is why I don't normally ever make gnocchi. Um, but the very lovely Massimo Fanati, who's an incredibly talented artist, shared with me his recipe for beetroot gnocchi. So I just thought I'd show you how to roll it out. So you can see it's been chilled in a lump um, and I'm, I've am i rolled it out into a sausage and I'm now going to do little cuts, little cuts. You want to make sure that you've got plenty of flour on your hands and on the board. Now, I've got one of these fancy schmancy rolling things and it's actually, you can see I'm sitting down. I don't often sit down in the kitchen, so this is quite nice. Plenty of flour on the board. I'm just gonna take my little lump of gnocchi, just with my thumb, push it down. Because what you want is that little hole in the bottom because all of your sauce will um, stick to that. Now, if you haven't got one of these, you can do it with a fork. You can just put it on the fork and roll it. And there you go. So that's that's it really. Um, I'll be sending photos of this to Massimo once they're done. Um, I've got loads. What I've actually done is I've made quite a big batch because you can freeze them. And I thought, well, if I'm going to the trouble of making all this, I've made extra that I can just um, take them out the freezer, a handful out the freezer, and you cook them from frozen. When you cook them, they'll be in a huge pan of salted water uh, and you know when they're cooked because they float float up they only take a couple of minutes uh, and Massimo says that the only way and the best way to eat them is I can't remember the Italian but it's basically butter with sage so thank you Massimo